we got here? I've got my 1950s red Ferrari toy car I'm bring in. Sweet. So where'd you get this, man? Well, my grandfather was an antique collector and he passed away a few years ago. Now my grandmother has a garage full of stuff. So last summer I saw this and like, I'm gonna take that home. I've always wanted a Ferrari. So, so your grandma gave you this really nice gift and you're down here selling it to me, huh? Isn't that awful? <laughs> <laughs> I love that old look of the Ferrari. It's got the, the engine kind of hanging out of it a little bit, the little windshield, and I can imagine wearing like the leather bomber jacket with the scarf and driving down the racetrack. I think my grandmother would be okay with me selling the car. I'd like to sell it today, just to have a little extra money, maybe uh, take my wife out, maybe a little trip or something like that. So what can you tell me about it, man? Well, uh, I know it's from the 50s. Okay. It looks to me like it could be a model where, um... In the 1950s, some guys started selling these things where you could actually build and put together a small little toy Ferrari. It was something kids and adults would both do. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's a toy, but I don't know if it's what most people would think of as a toy because it was built primarily for just, like, display purposes. You know, a kid would spend, you know, a couple weeks every day after school building this thing, and the last thing he wanted to do was shoot it off a coffee table or something like that. It wasn't necessarily a Hot Wheel. Right, right. <laughs> This thing has a lot of things going for it. One of the really cool things about this is that it's a Ferrari. You know, Ferrari collectors are some of the most avid collectors there is. I mean, there's guys out there with garages full of Ferrari stuff, and they've never even driven a car. Hmm. And you got the old toy market. These things can go anywhere from a couple hundred to five, six thousand dollars. Wow. It all depends on what the car is. You know, this could very well be the Ferrari of model cars. It is. <laughs> it's the logo. Ferrari is one of those brands that people basically worship. There's always going to be buyers for stuff like this. But I need to know more about it. There's a huge difference in value between toys and models. How much are you looking to get out of it? Um, from the research I did online, uh, it's worth a couple thousand, so I'd like to see $2,000 out of it. I mean, it could definitely be worth that. I got a buddy that would probably be able to check this out and kind of give me an idea of what it's really worth. Mind if I give him a call? Hey, that'd be great. All right. I'm really excited they're bringing in another person to get a second opinion on what it's worth. I'm hoping that it's worth a lot more money. What's up, Johnny? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing, man? Hold on. Good to see you, man. Oh, wow, Ferrari. Yeah. Cool, man, cool. This car is a replica of the Ferrari 500. Anything with the Ferrari name is highly collectible. As far as cars, toys, memorabilia, uh, Ferrari's a huge name. So is it a model kit? You mind if I take a closer look? Oh, sure, go for it. This is definitely not a kit here. I mean, we've got aluminum body here. Most of the kits would have been made of plastic. This was made more for uh, promotional reasons. So a lot of these were given out to the race team and a lot of people affi affiliated with Ferrari. So it was more of like a promotional item kind of used as a trophy sometimes. <laughs> correct, correct. Okay. Give me an idea of what something like this would go for retail. Yeah, you got some money here. I mean, all the, the paint looks original, the Pirelli tires. With not too many of these out there, the condition it's in, it being Ferrari, um, it's an amazing piece. You should have no problem getting anywhere from easily 3000 to 3500 for the piece. Boom. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I'll take it right now. This is a great piece. You should have no problem selling it. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Johnny. Take care, man. See you later. If Corey's able to make a deal, I hope he gives me a call. This is a great piece. I would love to have it in my shop. All right, so uh, you heard what Johnny had to say. I can't afford to pay you that much for it. OK. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere around 1000 bucks. Well, he said three to 3500 And so I want you guys to have a little on, on your end as well. So what about $3,000? I mean, he talks about it. It's rare. It, Ferrari collectors, toy car collectors, it hits different markets there. I mean, people who buy Ferraris have money to spend. And people who can't afford Ferraris buy these instead. Touche. Um, I'll go up to like 1200 bucks, man, but it's a... Uh... Hmm. Let's do, um, let's do 1800. 15, you got a deal. 17? Nope. 16? 1500 bucks, man. All right, you got it. All right, deal. Jim, you want to write him up? Yeah, just um, meet me at the counter over there. Cool. I'm excited that I got 1500 out of it. Now, definitely, I'm going to look around and see if I can bring any more things down to the pawn shop and maybe worth some more money. <laughs>